Yo, what's good? It's Drop from LetItDropMusic.com, LetItDropBeats.com. Hope everything's well with you today. Uh, everything's going well here. We're just setting up in the studio early, getting some mixes done, getting some beats lined up. Um, really excited about the topic that I got for you today. Uh, I wanted to talk about direct marketing and mass marketing, but really direct marketing because that, that's where it's at. You know what I'm saying? As an independent artist, direct marketing is your number one tool. You know what I'm saying? And what what direct marketing is basically is anytime that you promote yourself or anything that you're really trying to sell, but you as an independent artist, you're selling your music and your brand, you want to promote that, that brand and your music uh, to people after you build a relationship with them. You know what I'm saying? So direct marketing is when you go up to like a group, small group of people or one person or you message someone directly, text them, call them, do something directly that's going to get them to start a conversation. So you're not just saying, hey, have you heard my music? Yes or no. And then posting up a link. You know what I mean? You're going like, hey, how are you? You know what I'm saying? Nice to meet you. If you haven't met them before, what's going on in your life? Here's what's going on in my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, make small talk. Small talk's big. Um, so after you build a relationship, and it doesn't have to be a big, you know what I'm saying, in-depth relationship. Just make an acquaintance with someone. Let, let them know a little bit about you. Find out a little bit about them. And then let them know about your music. Then let them know about any new music. You know what I'm saying? If, it, if it's someone that's been rocking out with your music, they liked your music before, instead of just, you know what I'm saying, putting up a song, and this is popular, you know what I'm saying? This is real popular. People are just tagging 100 people, just tagging them away. You know what I'm saying? 60, 80, 90, 90 100 people in one post. You know what I'm saying? Putting up a song. Um, people would like, it's really popular for people to start hyping up their songs. Like, yo, I'm about to drop this song. Uh, and, and this and that, but that's that's looking at things from a major kind of major label, major business perspective. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's better to just take the time out, and all those hundred people that you were gonna tag, send them a personal message, and, and don't even talk about your music. You know what I'm saying? Just be like, hey, what's up? How are you? What's going on? You know what I'm saying? If you already have that relationship, if you don't already have that relationship, then you know what I'm saying? Come at them a little more formal. Like, hey, uh, uh, just, you know what I'm saying? We, we just made friends on Facebook. I just want to shout you out. Good looks for the ad. On uh, Good looks for following me on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got some music lined up that, uh, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, maybe one day you can check it out and just leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? Let them let them respond. Start start building a conversation with them and then drop it like, yo, I, I got this new song. Like, check it out and then ask them for feedback you know what i'm saying like let them know that you want to hear from them after they after they're done listening to that song and if uh you know what i'm saying if for some reason they don't like it don't get offended you know what i'm saying like like literally the customer's always right that's one of the main rules of uh of having a sales business a customer service business and that's what you're in you have uh fans that you potentially want to be your customers and you want to sell them your music so start thinking of yourself as a business you want to sell them your music and your brand so you want to get feedback if something's not vibing with that person you need to find out maybe he's just not really into my type of music and that's okay um, but you gotta keep building and, and you gotta say well maybe if I don't give him this type of music maybe I, maybe there is something in me that uh, I can make a song about that he might actually relate to and, and that's being marketable is, fi is finding something that's authentic about yourself continuously and, and, and writing songs about it to attract different types of people, you know what I'm saying? Like we sometimes I feel like we can get caught up in just being too much of one thing, trying to find that specific niche. But the thing is, is we're all human, so we have a bunch of different things about ourselves that we're able to uh, to use, especially when we're creative. You know what I'm saying? All of our experiences um, and and all the things that we've learned and and continue to learn, we can use all those things to to relate to someone. So. Uh, take that feedback and, and and again build that relationship with someone before you you uh, you do um, you do any type of promotions with them. You know what I'm saying? What I want you to do from now on is I want you to say, is this move that I'm about to make a mass marketing move? Is this something a big company might do, or is this something an uh, independent person might do? So if you're uh, if you're like if you got a new song and you want to drop your new song. You got to think, am I going to treat it like a major label release? Am I going to uh, start putting up a bunch of posts and maybe buy flyers and put them in intersections and things like that? All those tools are great, but those are all mass marketing tools. Like, don't take notes from the major labels. You know what I'm saying? Take notes from, from artists that are independent. Uh, start 
start building those relationships, plain and simple. I'm going to leave it at that. I mean, direct marketing means building a relationship before you make the sale. And the thing about direct marketing too, I want to quickly add is it's cheap. You know what I'm saying? Mass marketing is expensive. It's expensive to get a commercial on TV. It's expensive to get a, a commercial on the radio. It's expensive to put up a billboard. You know what I'm saying? Direct marketing is sometimes free. All you got to do is just open your mouth and talk. You know what I'm saying? But it takes time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you you got to put that extra, extra effort into it to really know that you might not be able to uh, pitch your song or, or, you know what I'm saying, or, or tell someone about a song on the first time you meet them. It might not be like that. You know what I'm saying? You might just introduce that, hey, yeah, I do music and uh, I take it seriously. Let them know that. Bang. Plain and simple. How are you? What do you do? You know what I'm saying? How's things going with you? And, and start building that relationship one by one by one. Get each fan one by one by one. Because when people relate to you, then they're going to finally be like, okay, now I'm ready to check out this person's music. You know what I'm saying? Now I can really uh, listen to his music and kind of understand him and, or her and their music. And, and uh, then they might be ready to share it with other people. You know what I'm saying? Like instead of just being like, yo, you checked out my music yet? Uh, can you, you mind sharing that for me? Um, you know what I'm saying? I get that a lot. You know what I'm saying? People would just send me... Sometimes people will send a direct message. They'll, they'll go all the way to send me a direct message, but it's totally a copy and pasted type of mass marketing message. You know what I'm saying? Make each message personal. Make it personal. You know what I'm saying? Get in people's faces. Shake some hands. Uh, when, when you're at the club, you see a group of people, two, three people. Go out to them and be like, yo, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Maybe you just performed. Maybe you haven't performed yet. Be like, yeah, I do music. Do you guys do music maybe? What are you guys doing? Chilling here, you know what I'm saying? Like spark a conversation and, and just find something to relate to them with. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, I came to hang out and just check out the local scene. You know what I'm saying? And be like, boom. Okay, me too. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what I do. I love music. A lot of people, everyone that I have met uh, loves music. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a part of everyone's life. You know what I'm saying? Like, people listen to, to a lot of music and sometimes... Sometimes there's a lot of uh, music going on around you that, that people are just used to. You know what I'm saying? Um, and there's a lot of people trying to, to do music and get into music. So this is just going to set you way, way apart. If you can actually uh, have someone remember your name uh, or ask you for music because you built such a close relationship with them, then it's going to go over way more. Um, it's going to be way more important. You know what I'm saying? For them to, to listen to your music than it is for a random person that you just tagged in a post uh, to listen to your music. Because when, when that person that you already built the relationship with listens to your music, they're going to be more inclined to really, really listen to it and really find something that they can relate to. And that and again, that's what music's all about. It's about bringing people together. You know what I'm saying? It's a universal language. Uh, it, it's a, it's something that everyone can be uh, can be a part of, regardless of where you are in the world. You know what I'm saying? And that's what makes music great. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the main reasons why I love music. Is because it's a way to bring people together. It's a way for all of us to create something, and, and uh, it's a way to have fun. You know what I'm saying? And and, uh, and that's what it's about. Have fun with this direct marketing. Um, have fun meeting people like like learn to to find it interesting you know what i'm saying when when you when you're talking to someone and uh and realize once again like a lot of the people that you're going to be making fans with they're going to be rappers too you know what i'm saying that they're, they're going to be rappers they're going to be other musicians uh people who do music so don't just think that it's going to be just a random person that that listens to the radio you know what i'm saying like uh especially if you're trying to build a a core following it, you got to build people, build it up with people who are really, really into music. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're an independent artist, um, it, you want to build it with, a, uh, you want to build it with, uh, with people who are going to be dedicated, dedicated to music, period. You know what I'm saying? So it, who's but more dedicated to music than other rappers, you know what I'm saying? And other people doing music and other, and DJs and promoters. These are all people that are already dedicated to music. So if you can build a, a solid relationship with one of these people, then they're going to listen to your music, be more inclined to like something in your music, find something that they're going to relate to in your music, and then boom, they're, they're, they're going to be more dedicated, since they're already dedicated to music, they're going to be more dedicated to your music. And, um, and you're going to go really, really far from there. So uh, I wanted to touch on maybe some techniques that can be direct marketing and some things that aren't. So like um, 
things that aren't direct marketing, getting a t-shirt with your brand on it, that's not a direct marketing move. That's a mass marketing move. You're wearing your t-shirt out in public. You, you might give it to uh, people to wear out in public and you're, you're, ma- you know what I mean? you're marketing to everyone that sees your t-shirt. And uh, it, you know what I mean? A lot of people would think that, nah, it's more of a personal thing because people see it, but, it, and I'll read, look, see, I got a t-shirt. I, I've gone through the same the same things, you know what I'm saying? I, I've made the same mistakes, you know what I'm saying? I spent a lot of money on these t-shirts, but it was a mass marketing move. I didn't realize back then that if I would've took that money and maybe spent it on other things, or, or really just took the time and, 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 and invested myself into people, then it would come back. So t-shirts, that's mass marketing. Putting flyers in intersections, that's that's mass marketing, you know what I'm saying? When people just put flyers out anywhere. Handing, handing a flyer to someone and walking Walking away, that's mass marketing. Handing a flyer and talking them, talking to them for a couple minutes, that's direct marketing, and it's that simple of a difference. You know what I'm saying? Uh, other things that's mass marketing. Let me think here. Uh, yeah, just mainly spazzing out on your posts. That's mass marketing. Um, and anything that a major label would do uh, to try and promote. Um, it is a mass marketing move. So it ju- just realize, is this something a major label would do? If it's something that you think a major label would do or a major business would do, then that's a mass marketing move. Um, some things that are direct marketing uh, is going to be like business cards. Business cards are really cheap. You can check out Vista Print, and uh, they usually have some really cheap business cards that you can get, and they're decent quality. And if you can hand them to people, talk to people, and uh, and have a place where they can go to, to listen to your music online, that's direct marketing. Especially like a website, that's a direct marketing uh, tool because people are going there, and it's just a one-on-one thing. It's your website and them. So your website's going to uh, to, to build a relationship with them or it should be by letting people know who you are first and then maybe have a place where they can contact you maybe they have a place where they can uh, go to all your social medias and link up from there so that's another direct marketing tool and uh, really to touch really quick on websites basically all you got to do is get a domain name godaddy.com you can get a domain name and uh, they're really cheap around 10 15 bucks And um, once you have that domain name, you don't need your own website. You can use that domain name, then forward it to one of your social media pages. That's fine. That that that's really an acceptable acceptable way to do it because once you have uh, uh, your own uh, domain name, then you can be like, "Yo, go to letterdropmusic.com." And, and uh, even if it doesn't bring you to a, a regular website, it's going to bring you to a place where they can get to the, excuse me get to know you and uh, build a relationship with you. Um, let me think. Uh, for the website, hosting is really cheap. Uh, you know what I mean? Ten bucks a month, and you can have an official website. Um, there's a thing out there called WordPress, and a lot of the hosting plans that you can get, you can actually just go right into your your hosting uh, site, and uh, they, they'll have a WordPress pretty much already almost pre-installed. All you have to do is really just set it up. And WordPress is a uh, is open source code that you that already kind of has like a basic website built and uh what what they do is they let a lot of other people develop codes so they'll have like apps and widget, widgets kind of that you can put on your uh your website uh your wordpress website and it's wordpress is free all these widgets are free um so it's it's never been easier to have like a really professional website just just check out wordpress uh, do a little bit of research. I'll probably have a video going more in depth on uh, on setting up websites, but that's 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 a really really big thing to have, especially when you're uh, when you're directly marketing to people. So uh, check out the websites. Um, you can get uh, really really big. You need to get a database of your people. So. Me, I write them down personally. I, I have, uh, you know what I'm saying, a spreadsheet, and I'll, I'll put people's names in them, and I'll put their contact info, but they have uh, things that are even easier, like Reverb Nation has an automatic mailing list, like take advantage of that, um, or you can do things like a professional mailing list eventually, where you can pay a monthly subscription, but just start off small, and, and uh, make sure that you have a way that you can save uh, all your contacts. That way, if you do want to move up to a more professional uh mailing list later then then you can um but it's all about just keeping uh keeping everyone written down so you know so you can literally have a number on how many people you connected with so you can literally say okay i haven't talked to this person in a month 
uh, maybe I should send him a message and see what's up with them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so that's really, really big. That's probably one of the biggest things that's free. You could just write people down, even if it's notepad, just, just write them down. You know what I'm saying? And when you meet someone, take note of every meeting that you have. I mean, it's free and it's one of the most powerful things you can do. You can tag a million people in a post, but I guarantee you if you write everyone down and then take time out and contact everyone directly, that you will make way more progress. Uh, in, in that in that aspect of direct marketing so um, some other mass marketing things I'll go over maybe is like um, uh, banner ads on websites uh, that piff you can uh, you can get like a web uh, uh, advertisement right on their home page you know what I'm saying you can pay like the five six hundred dollars for a world star video that's all mass marketing you know what I'm saying so before you really put up the the, the money for stuff like that, make sure you already have your direct marketing game down because it's it's not going to, uh, it, it, it takes one then the other. You know what I'm saying? You got to start small with your direct marketing campaign and then work your way up to bigger and bigger marketing campaigns like banner ads and things like that. Um, let me see what else we got. Uh, I wanted to talk about CDs real quick because um, that's, that's a way to market yourself, um, but they cost a lot of money. So sometimes you can actually... Uh, it's all about how you execute it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes the CDs are good, but talk to people first because if, like, say they don't really want a CD, then why would you invest five hundred to a thousand dollars on a bunch of CDs that you're planning on flipping if you're really gonna struggle and spend hours and hours and hours trying to trying to sell them? It's much better off spending those hours and hours and hours uh, directly marketing yourself to people and letting people get some free downloads first. Uh, when you have more people asking for a download, then you can handle in a day that's when you should start thinking about maybe putting out a cd and selling it you know what i'm saying until then you really should just start concentrate on on building your fans and and building your list and, and building your relationships with people um so that's that um another easy way once instead of getting cds actually i want to mention you can easily easily put up uh your song on itunes there's sites like uh TuneCore, you know what I'm saying? That's just one of them, but I mean, just research. There's, there's a ton of them out there that will let you put up your single or your whole album on uh, on iTunes, Android, Google Play, you know what I'm saying? Like all the websites that sell music like that, um, it's really easy to just put them up there and upload them. So instead of dropping all this money on uh, CDs and physical product, you can directly market your people, take, your, take, uh, take the time that you would sell in your CDs and instead build relationships with the people and then send them to these singles, you know what I'm saying? And send them to these albums, these exclusive albums that are on sale, you know what I'm saying? Still have enough music where you can give music out, but then you can have these exclusive areas, uh, exclusive music that you're putting up for sale. So that way, if someone uh, really has that relationship with you, if you succeeded in building a great relationship with someone, then they at least have an outlet to, to buy some music right away, you know what I'm saying? So that's that's really, really big. Um, and and uh, just just keep it up, man. And one day at a time. It's it's not gonna happen right away. You know what I'm saying? Mass marketing. I feel like a lot of people kind of get into mass marketing because they feel like if I can just have a ten thousand people see my brand and and hear my song, then that's it. I'm gonna blow up. But it's not about that. You want you want longevity. So if you can build up from one to a hundred, then a hundred to a thousand. You know what I'm saying? It's it's gonna be way uh, more worth your time. Uh, to, to do it that way than to just get a thousand people to look at you. You know what I'm saying? So I guess I'll wrap it up with that one. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'll probably go over more in depth, like prices you can pay and, and, and really more in depth on a marketing plan and, and other videos and steps that you can take. But today, the first step I want you to take is to just go message someone and build a relationship with them and then market your music to them. So direct marketing, that's where it's at. Um, if you uh, were rocking with this video, I want you to like it. If, you, uh, if you're rocking with the other videos, definitely subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be putting up more for you. And uh, if you got to the end of this video, you definitely go get her. And I definitely want to see you out there messaging me and other people and building those relationships and then marketing those musics that you have. So... All right, that's it for this one. Um, I'm going to put up some uh, s some more uh, stuff at a later time. You know what I'm saying? Um, definitely got more topics that I want to talk about. But, uh, yeah, man. Anyway, I'm just going to end it with that. So, peace to you. And uh, keep, uh, keep up on your grind. All right? Later.